Now at T-Mobile, new and existing customers can get our best deals like the amazing iPhone 14 on us. I love being with T-Mobile. They upgraded me to a new iPhone 14 with this advanced camera. Wow, it's a great photo. I can really see that you wore my shirt I said you couldn't borrow. Oh. Oops. Get iPhone 14 on us with eligible trade-in on our new Go 5G Plus plan. Only at T-Mobile. Over 24-month deal credits plus tax for more qualified customers. Contact us before canceling to continue credit to credit stop and balance on required finance agreement due. Details at T-Mobile.com. I knew of her husband, uh, Adam, uh, and I had met his sister once, but I don't think I have ever met my cousin would have been the son of my first cousin. Uh, but it turns and out his wife, uh, Rachel Marshall of uh, Rachel's Tyler. Ginger Beer in Seattle, uh, passed on. And I went to go dig up some facts for my mother, who's not as handy with a Google search. And, and I discovered that she had made this amazing product. Um, this product, which is very popular in Seattle, so popular they had a a, a, a Rachel Marshall Bay, uh, and her death was covered in the local news. Now, sadly, she died of alcoholism, unrelated to the product, but brought on a little bit by some depression issues, and apparently uh, that started sometime after COVID. But uh, Rachel's ginger beer was something I could order off a website, so I did. It's not available anywhere around here, but I love ginger ale. I love a great ginger beer that burns in the back of your throat. Just love it. So it cost me a fortune to get four bottles of it shipped to the Midwest like this, but it was so worth it. Um, and it's one of those, to go back to the premise, I just wish I'd had a chance to meet her. Been in Seattle many times. Um, wish I'd gone past the store, although it's entirely possible because she had a, apparently they had a booth at uh, Pike's Place that maybe I did. Uh, but I think I would have remembered this because it's delicious. So sad to report that. And apparently a big story. If you go to any of the Rachel Marshall locations, you can tell her that we appropriately fetted her successful life on the air and remembered her well, even though I never met her. Wish I'd had. Would have uh, would have welcomed the opportunity. It cost me about as much to get her product shipped to me in the Midwest as it would have cost me to get a plane ticket to go to Seattle. Uh, but it was worth it. And so I, I raised a glass tonight uh, to uh, the cousin I, I hadn't met and to the family that she leaves behind that I will do better in meeting next time I'm in town. Uh, and uh, Rachel, we hardly knew you, but I'm having a, a nice cold ginger beer of yours in your honor tonight on Coast to Coast AM. This is Ian Bunnett. When banks fail, when bonds are devalued and the stock market is in turmoil, you'll be glad you own gold. Something you can hold physically oh, yeah. in your safe at your house, and now you can also hold it in a retirement account. In fact, if you have an old IRA or 401k that's tied to a risky stock market, you can roll that over without spending an additional penny to a physical IRA in precious metals. And Birch Gold can help you own physical gold in a tax-sheltered account. I've known Birch Gold for a long time. They've been on the show several times. Just text the word COAST to 989898 and get a free info kit on gold. There's no obligation to educate yourself on how to diversify in this highly volatile market. With an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, thousands of happy customers, and countless five-star reviews, you can trust Birch Gold to give you honest advice in protecting your savings with gold. Text COAST to 989898 and find peace of mind in gold. There's no sign of identity theft slowing down, and why should it? More than $14 billion were stolen from identity theft victims last year alone. To cyber criminals, it's a success story. To the rest of us, it's a wake-up call. Your personal info is in more places now than ever, and all that exposure can make it dangerously easy to steal your identity. LifeLock by Norton makes it easy to help protect yourself by monitoring your identity and alerting you to threats you could miss on your own. If you become a victim of identity theft, a U.S.-based LifeLock restoration specialist will be dedicated to your case and work to fix it.
No one can prevent all identity theft or monitor all transactions at all businesses, but everyone can save up to 25% off their first year by calling 1-800-LIFELOCK or to go to lifelock.com and use promo code GEORGE. That's promo code GEORGE to save up to 25% off your first year. 1-800-LIFELOCK or lifelock.com. Promo code GEORGE. Artificial intelligence coming up next hour, and in particular, the story which is top of mind on every college campus, every high school campus, well, just round it out, education in general. This idea of the uh, of these chat bots, as they have turned into uh, essentially term paper writing tools, uh, and it's alarming what is going on. More on that coming up next hour. But I always have to keep in touch with my friend Charles Pellegrino. When I had an odd night, I asked Charlie to come on because the last time we talked, Charlie, I don't know, was I walking between classes or I had to, I, I remember we were just getting the good stuff and I had to go. So, but Charlie always has a, a wonderful uh, updates and Charles Pellegrino joins us now with a couple of them. How are you doing tonight? Doing well, doing well. I, I guess you've seen the uh, notices in the in Collider in the Los Angeles Times about uh, to hell and back the last train from Hiroshima. Well, you told me about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, I, didn't have to, I didn't have to wait for it to show up in the trains. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but uh, Jim Cameron has uh, said that, uh, well, we've got about a year, year and a half to have everything ready, I mean, complete script, but uh, that between Avatar 3 and Avatar 4, Avatar 3 already, 95% in the can and even part of Avatar 4 already filmed, that uh, the one he would next want to personally direct uh, is uh, to hell and back the last train from Hiroshima. Checking their watches, 
yeah. and talking to you. That's probably a sign that you've been going on for a while. And then your daughter had to update that yeah. and say, hey, hey, Dad, if they're checking their messages <laughs> or they're texting while you're talking, you've probably got to do it. So what was your signal to this other woman on the set of Avatar or, you know, on the in the science crew that she'd been talking to her since the shoe uh, was on the other foot? There was no signal. <laughs> I did what, the, what she had to say next. Which was interesting. I mean, she just had me just riveted. That's great. <laughs> Everything I love she could say uh, about plants. And, uh, and, and you had people, and, you know, I mean, we could go on. Right. It could go on for days sometimes about cephalopod intelligence and, gee, you know, if we could have cephalopod-like animals evolving under the ice of Europa or any of the other ice worlds around the galaxy, <laughs> that could go on forever. And so, I, so it is though that I want to return back to uh, to Hiroshima because, I, in part, I took a trip to Japan um, and I went um, in between several cities and I met many people that were involved with, um, with your course. book. So let's talk about the, the odyssey of, of the book to Helen Back. Um, let's talk about it from its original publication. And I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to sort of step out so you have uh, about three minutes to tell the story. Um, from when you first published the book to when it got... Um, you know, quote unquote, fixed when a couple of small edits were made and it was reissued. This is the new. This is the movie then that uh, James Cameron's going to be working on between number three and number four. So talk about that because we lived it here on the air on on Coast to Coast yeah, AM. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the publishers started getting all these complaints. Uh, one writer at the New York Times ended up being completely spoofed by these people who were pretending to be Hiroshima survivors, some of them. But wait, 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 you have to explain what the premise of the oh, book was, okay. because that's the part that right. it's the double survivor thing that was such a unique thing. Exactly. Angle. Nagasaki became the forgotten bomb, which is MacArthur wanted it to be forgotten because it was a significantly more powerful bomb. Uh, it had uh, detonated right above the largest uh, Catholic community in the Eastern Hemisphere, and uh, you know, it, it, and so MacArthur wanted it pretty much forgotten. I mean, what happened in Nagasaki was horrible, and people in uh, Nagasaki, they always said it's bad to be the second of anything. Hiroshima was the first city, then Nagasaki, and I had known from high school from a friend of mine whose father was in the FBI. He seemed to study all sorts of explosive events, uh, and he told me, uh, introduced me to the first Hiroshima survivors I had ever met, and he told me about the double survivors, and then I realized all those decades later that the way, after I got into forensic archaeology, the way to actually tell to the public uh, the story of Nagasaki would be to bridge the story of both cities with the 30 people who survived Hiroshima and then went on that last train from Hiroshima to Nagasaki and survived the second bombing as well. There were over 300 people who went from Hiroshima to Nagasaki, but 90% of them died during the second bomb. Which is an amazing, so people who haven't made the trek, and I did, you go to Hiroshima, and you, you look, you go to the Hiroshima Museum, and then you, then you see how far they would have had, the survivors would have traveled to get to Nagasaki, when they got to Nagasaki, um, which had a large Christian, for Japan especially, but because it had been a port city, had um, a fairly large uh, Christian community there, including a large um, Catholic community, and police reported ahead. But it was also home to the Imperial Japanese Navy for much of the war. So it was a it was a it was a site. Of, it was a prime site, much like you know how Pearl Harbor had been the start of the war. Yeah. Um, 
this was the purpose of bombing Nagasaki. It wasn't just, you know, hey, let's just drop another one in the middle at random, although there were other cities that they had been kicking around. So the fact that there were double survivors who made the train trip. So the original book was last train from was it last train to from Hiroshima? Last train from Hiroshima, yeah. Yeah. That was the first that was when it first came out. And then you were under attack. Um, the a writer for the New York Times got kind of fooled by the uh, credentials or they were trying to sound very hip by doing with these quote unquote bloggers, which was kind of a thing at the time. And they attacked both your credentials to have written it and also claimed that you had never been there or that you didn't know anything and you were making this all up. Right, right. And uh, there was, for example, someone who was impersonating this one artist, uh, Nakazawa, very famous artist who survived Hiroshima as a child. And uh, yeah, I said to this writer, I said, you cannot be getting letters from this guy. He doesn't write that way. And it turned out he was being kept uh, basically in deep sleep for late stage chemo. He wasn't writing letters to the New York Times. And boy, was he furious when uh, he woke up and he found out from his family that the New York Times and other people were saying that uh, he didn't exist and that I told lies about him and his family and the orphan Kanaka saying that he didn't really exist and that we had American media saying Hiroshima and Nakasaki didn't happen that way, that Black Rain didn't kill anyone and also they, the publisher and the New York Times and the Washington Post accepted uh, as fact letters from veterans of uh, the 509th. 15,000 emails from veterans saying they were going to burn the manuscript in front of my publisher, uh, that they were going to burn a pile of the books. Uh, it never, they were all fake letters. Yeah. They were all fake emails. Yeah. 15,000 of them. And in reality, not one veteran, not a single veteran or anyone yeah. serving in the military wrote to the New York Times or to Holt or to the Washington Post. And the reason and that they, they were on my side, a uh, couple of the uh, five or nine families helped with the right. second edition, uh, giving their stories for the first time. So what was interesting about that was they had a, they, they were sort of like, uh, like the comic mob fanboys, and they didn't like the fact that you were besmirching the good name of the mob. <laughs> And so that was really weird, and we also yeah. had people who call themselves 9-11 uh, truthers in the middle of it. And, right. Uh, and they were coming after you for a whole another thing. So you got all that bundled up. Yeah. As it turns out, then, and though... The reporter was, uh, at the time, was severely promoted, and then tried to go after my 16-year-old son, and, uh, and Marjorie Bramman at Holt. Oh, uh, yeah, you got to watch the your name, Dan. Yeah, spoken with one of the priests um, that uh, Charlie had interviewed. So I want to, I just want to say congratulations then that James Cameron is finally going to get around to making that movie about the double survivors. It's going to be, it's, it's a labor of love in a, in a way, but we'll talk uh, about that some other time because that's actually not why I asked you on, although congratulations on that because that's, you know, uber cool. Um, coming up, I want to ask you about this other thing which we saw in the news. Every time I see a story about intelligent life in space, I remember the things that you've told me about before. So I'll get an update on that next, too. With Coast to Coast AM, this is Ian Bonnet. Have you visited KSRO.com lately? Bookmark it today for the latest headlines and happenings in and around Sonoma County. Go even further with the KSRO digital app, available on your phone in the App Store. KSRO, online all the time at KSRO.com.